one in four kids gets bullied every day, and that, that's crazy. So that means like one in every four people in the crowd or one in every four people in your school gets bullied. That's insane. It was a combination of staggering statistics and ineffective bullying exercises at school that led Demeter Gugoff and his two friends to create an anti-bullying club, the 3V movement. Well, we have a different message because, you know, usually adults just go up on the stage and all they say is, you know, don't bully each other and that doesn't spread the message at all. So, you know, we took a different approach where we're kids, we're for kids, you know, and usually, you know, kids don't listen to their parents, kids don't listen to adults, kids listen to other kids and that's how it is, you know. So what we try to do is, as kids, we try to spread a message that will be accepted amongst our peers. You know, usually, you know, just, just the word cool or the word like, you know, just just, it's not cool to bully, it spreads a lot better than saying don't bully each other, believe it or not. We're just trying to spread the word so by doing events like this we can get like kids like together and tell them the message is wrong together and it just kind of like promotes anti-bullying and like a good spirit about it. We had a conversation a couple years ago about how they use their time and they really wanted to do, make a difference and use their time they feel that they're privileged and they have a voice and that they identified a problem so they, they took they decided to take on this problem in their own way in a cool way in a way that would speak to their um, kids their age their peers it's, it's a big problem for a lot of kids what I hear and what happens especially middle school and then high school and what we read in all the articles in newspapers and magazines you know you can just stay and not do something. Demeter admits he has been bullied, like most kids, but more often he finds himself as a bystander. I'm the one who actually sees the kids getting bullied. You know, ever since I was little, I'd always be the kid who hangs out with the less popular kids. And also I'm friends with the more popular kids too. So I'm always like the one that's in, like, in the middle that always you know, wants to help out the less popular kids or the kids who do get bullied. So that is that personal connection where I do want to help people, you know, make them have fun, nice high school experience rather than just get bullied and hate school. It's not so good. The club is now 200 strong and in five high schools. The nonprofit's biggest accomplishment, the difference it has already made on campus. It is a major problem globally and in our country, but in our school it's diminished because of the 3D club, so we've kind of helped, you know, lower it down in our schools. And a lot of people stopped bullying, even if, even if they take it as a joke, they still do it and they still don't bully each other, so that's really great. The Cathedral Catholic tennis star hopes to see this club in every San Diego high school next year. For now, join the movement and remember one thing. You do get bullied, you know. The club's always here, I'm always here, you know, my friends are always here, your friends are always there for you, so. Talk to us, we'll help you out if you're getting bullied, and kind of just stand up for yourself, and don't, you know, don't shy away. Talk to people, because that's how the problem gets solved.